Hello colleagues, uh, today I will be talking about drones uh, for inspection. So we are discussing their non-inverse architecture and uh, drones, well, mainly one to two, one to four drones. Why? No, let's start first uh, with the difference between inverse and non-inverse. The biggest difference between inverse and non-inverse is that in non-inverse architecture at any moment only one mobile beacon is emitting ultrasound and station beacons are receiving ultrasound. So it means that if you have four drones, it means that only one drone will emit, then the next uh, cycle another one will emit, the third, fourth and so forth. So it means that if you have many drones, the update rate per drone may be really low. It depends on the requirements, but it may be low. For example, if you have 16 Hertz per system, which is kind of regular update rate achievable on a relatively short distance. So it means that if you have 10 drones, you'll have 16 divided by 10 update rate per drone. So a bit more than one update per update, uh, location update per drone per second, which may be low. Uh, so it means that usually we recommend non-inverse architecture for one to four drones. Inverse architecture, on the other hand, is not really suitable for drones, at least for now because drones are noisy. Not only noisy in audible noise, but also in ultrasound, so wideband uh, noise, which is coming to the ultrasound as well. So it means that if you install the uh, receiving beacon on the drone, most probably the range will be very limited because it will be uh, saturated by the noise of the propellers. So we are discussing non-inverse architecture and one to four drones mainly because of the update rate. If update rate is not a problem, you can fly 100 drones. But usually update rate is the requirement. So in order to have reasonable update rate of a few hertz or more, one to four drones is um, like real limitations. So we are not talking about some particular cases, or let's say all the cases possible. We are focusing on warehousing and bridges for inspection. So imagine this is the uh, warehouse no, typical shelves, uh, height 10 to 12 meters. Between the shelves, ails is uh, th 3 meters. And we want that the drone flies for their inspection. Okay, not this kind of drone, but much larger drone is flying through the ale and uh, checking uh, QR codes or checking their palette places and so forth. Uh, so the drone, in order to fly in 3D, must have at least three station beacons within 30 meters. As usually we recommend three plus one redundancy. So the recommended placement of the beacons is the following. You place them on the top of the ale or of the shelf facing down to the drone. So the drone will be flying from the zero height to the maximum height and flying through, through, through the ale from low to high, well, in the pattern which you like. About the distances. Uh, as you know, the maximum distance that uh, can be between their station beacon and the mobile beacon is 30 meters. But take into account that you already have 10 to 12 meters height of this, and the minimum height of the drone is zero. So it means that you cannot place the station beacons 30 meters apart. You need 15 to 20 realistically in order to have under 30 meters uh, the maximum distance. This is one element to remember. Another element very important to remember is this. So this is the view on the ale. So this is th three meters between the station beacons. So here and other uh, over there. And this is your uh, drone when it's flying nearly to the floor. Uh, as you see, the triangle for the tri trial iteration is extremely narrow. So it means that since we are measuring the distance between the station and mobile beacon very precisely, now well, imagine this under one centimeter precision. Uh, but location is intersection of this and this. So it means that you will have very precise height, but pretty imprecise uh, this direction, okay? Let's call it y direction. Why? Because the distance 
here, here, and here would be almost the same. So the difference will be comparable to this. So the spot that we will be able to give to you is this. And, and it, it is not an issue of our technology. It's an issue of any three uh, literation uh, systems. So it means that roughly, just very, very roughly, it's not real science or nothing like this, uh, but roughly you can think about this. So if you have precision of one centimeter and ratio of distance to uh, this base is like 30 to 3, so instead of one centimeter, you can expect up to 10 centimeter precision. Again, it's very rough, it's not real mathematical equation, but that, that kind of range in this direction. But in this direction, it will be still one centimeter. So this is exactly the explanation why some people are asking why you cannot fly next to, uh, next to this. So you cannot fly and have very high uh, Z uh, precision when you are flying next to their plane of stationary beacons. The same story, for example, you have drone here. The same story we have here, but opposite. So you will have very precise this location but very imprecise this location because I have very narrow angle here. So we have a separate video uh, shot and published on YouTube much earlier. Uh, but remember, in order to have reasonable uh, tracking in all X, Y, uh, Z directions, uh, you need to fly in about, you know, in about the same distances as the base. So if you have base five meters, then let's say five meters is your sweet spot. If you have too narrow, it will be too bad. If you have just whatever, half a meter, it will be also very bad. So don't, don't try to fly it. But in general, uh, overall recommendations for the warehouse, put on the, high, uh, on the top, face down, enable only those uh, sensors that you need as usually. So for example, if you are facing like this, you need this, this, and this. You don't need this, and you don't need this. So don't, don't enable all of them. Uh, it's easy with super beacons because super beacons have wider receiving diagram, uh, but it's more challenging for beacons hardware version 4.9. On the mobile beacon, of course, because drone is flying everywhere, you must enable all of them since the distances are high. So you need to enable or switch from five periods by default to 30 periods uh, in order to be able to reach uh, uh, 30 meters distance. Um, that's it. So if you have additional questions, please ask us and send to info at and we will be happy to tell you more and explain. Thank you.